Hello, dear ones, enlightened ones, my enchanted brothers and sisters. Hello, and welcome to our Twin Flame Soulmate reading uh, for you from the angels. <laughs> so what I had did, I pre-shuffled the cards, I laid them out, and I asked for three cards for the Divine Feminine, three cards for the Divine Masculine, um, the overall outcome, and then the energies that are with us for, for right now. Okay, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and read them. Now, the Divine Feminine can mean it's a woman, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, this is the feminine energies that are around us, and it could be a woman. And the same thing with the Masculine, the Divine Masculine, it can mean a man, but it also can mean the Masculine energies that are around us. You know, that could be there. Now, this reading, because it's a general reading, you have to place things the way they fit, um, but uh, it could be directly to you, and it could be just the energies that are around you, or if you're looking for somebody else, uh, whatever it is, but if you're drawn to this video, there's a message for you, okay? So don't forget to su subscribe and like uh, my videos, and of course, if you're looking for a personal uh, reading just for you, just, just let me know, okay? So the energies around us, these are hmm, the Tower card and the Four of Swords. Hmm, seems a little frightening, right? But I like the Tower card, uh, I always do. It means, you know, false beliefs. It, it's not what you think. And things could explode. And I like to think, you know, if God comes in and pulls the rug out from under, under us, it's because we're not listening. These wants to wake us up. So these, this illusion, false beliefs are coming to an end. It's coming to an end. It's blowing up. It's coming to an end. And that's what, you know, with this tower moment, you're being free. Uh, this this person here was caught up or locked up into this tower and now they're free. Okay, so I, I kind of like the tower card. And then this here, the four of swords here, you know, you see this person, he's laying down, he's tired. There's these three swords above, above the him and he's tired of fighting. So he needs to rest. But you know, even though the swords are above him, they kind of like want to attack him. He's tired of all, of all the BS, the struggle, all that stuff, the stress, the strain. But he still has that one sword, and his hand is like right there. Okay, so they're tired of it. They want it to end. They need to rest. You know, uh, things are coming. You're being set free, and all the struggle that from being in that tower, <laughs> you're now free. It's time to rest. But you still have enough fight in you or enough energy after you rest to go ahead and move forward, all right? So uh, the, the cards for the Divine Feminine, the first card that came up was the Moon card, okay? And, you know, and, and with this card, it's, it's like having vivid dreams or heightened instincts, intuition. It's knowing of deception or uncertainty. Um, high emotions, okay, uh, that that are that are there. So you're, you're you know, we we have here in the picture, you have the moon, and you have these like wolves howling, and you got the crab there, and this machine. It's like you don't know what to make of it, what's to come. But we do have the eight of eight of wands follows this card. And, and with this card, it's it's fast energy. It's good news, okay? Um, it's a burst of activity, excitement, probably after that rest <laughs> uh, that we need to have, that rest from those vivid dreams and that craziness, the uncertainty, you know? But things, once we realize that, you know, um, then there's excitement. This could be also traveling, flying, or going somewhere, making the changes in your life but it's definitely going to come really quickly and it looks like with the six of cups somebody from the past okay this is the divine feminine energies someone from the past may be resurrecting or coming back into your life a uh, blast from the past or maybe you're stuck in the past okay so th the person may not come back into your life, they could, it could not, but it might be something that you're bringing up the past. It's coming back to you, or you're, you're remembering something. 
Now, if, if this remembering takes you to an aha moment or a, a good moment, then, I, then that's a good thing. But if it's taking you to something that's, that's not good for you, you need to let it go. Okay, so this energy, good news, it could be something from your past. You know, I got a feeling it's an aha moment from your past. Maybe you're realizing it wasn't as bad as you thought it was, or it's was really wonderful. Uh, you know, again, maybe it's reuniting with an old friend or a family member, whatever. It looks really, really good. With the Divine Masculine, we have the Nine of Pentacles that comes up. And, and the Nine of Pentacles... You know, if this was, this is a general reading. So if it was a personal reading, I could tell you it's exactly a woman and it could be you. And, and it can be a woman, even though with masculine energies, because this is someone who's financially secu secure. This is independent. You know, this is a strong person, a strong woman, a strong person. Uh, they there will be improvement in money, improvement in in everything around you. Uh, it, it's comfort. It, it, it could be, it, a lot. This a lot of times it, it has to do with money. Okay, so maybe an inheritance. Maybe you're going to get some money. Some money's going to be coming in, but there is financial success. But then we had the Seven of Swords, and this is about theft. And you see this. You see this man. Stealing five swords, but he can't get to the other two. Okay. So with this, this is... So you want to be really careful. Really, really careful. <clears throat> or maybe you're, you know, really careful about... Or maybe someone's trying to steal something from you, but they can't take everything. Okay. And so take some precautions for that you know and the masculine energies you know here's tiny stand up take charge okay because we do have the knight of cups <laughs> the knight of cups <laughs> and with this this card is telling you marriage proposals uh romantic invitations okay so here you have this very successful person who's worried about someone stealing. Maybe it was somebody from their past that stole something. But the angels are telling you, let it go. Make the proposal. Go ahead and, and accept the romantic invitations because there's a lot of excitement there, okay? And then the overall outcome is the Five of Pentacles. And here we're talking about feeling like you're out in the cold. This is only temporary. It's worried about money. Again, maybe you're worried about theft, someone stealing money from you, but you know, with this, this is, you know, worry not having enough, being out in the cold, you know? And so, but we do have the hanging man follow this, the outcome. And, and the hanging man, you, you can see, you know, he's hanging from his feet, it's not hanging from his feet, like, <laughs> but the hanging man, he's suspended. Delaying gratifications, maybe because you don't have enough money, you feel like you don't have enough money. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money to make a commitment. Okay, there's just not enough money there, and you feel like you can't do this. But stop delaying gratification. Stop hanging around and not and worried about doing things, because we had the four of wands here. Is the last card. And, and it's telling you, as far as the final outcome, is about marriage, family harmony, uh, relaxation, rest, celebration. This is going to be there. Stop worrying about the money. Okay. Yeah, maybe take some precautions, to work, but that's not the issue here. The, the issue is uh, stop worrying about money and think you can't do something or you can't move on with a relationship because of money. It, it's not true because stay connected because you're stronger as a team than by yourself. And 
And when you have the romantic partner or, or the, the someone that, that, that as a team, yes, everything gets better. You're more abundant when there's love, power of love that's around you. Okay. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed your, your reading today. And of course, if, if you're interested in, in a personal reading just for you, just let me know. Okay. And all the information is down below. <laughs> But thank you so much and know that you're powerful when you're in the knowing. When you have God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you're powerful. There's no stopping you. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is so much needed. you got to be in a place of love and peace in order to give it, right? And know that God blesses and loves you and so do I. So lots of kisses, loves, and hugs from me to you. And, and I wish every single one of you namaste. The love and light in me recognizes the light and love with you. So take care until next time. Bye-bye.